everybody and welcome back to my channel guys welcome 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 if you are new welcome thank you for returning thank you for supporting thank you for your love i really really do appreciate you guys you know like share comment and subscribe and in today's topic we are going to be chatting about i have a question do you guys think that serena william is bleaching her skin i mean to be honest i don't care what she does male female she has broken all records guys and i am a fan of the williams because the records that these ladies have broken serena specifically both male and female she is untouchable and she has put herself in history when when our children will read about tennis history black woman history in a hundred years time that lady she's gonna be in that book she's gonna be in the history book for what she's done and the mark that she's left on tennis because that was her game and nobody has been able to take that away from her male or female she has broken all records all records she's broken all all of them so you can't touch her in in that space but they're trying to but they, but they like to touch her in a space of um skin bleaching her hair you know her masculine body listen i love her masculine body because not not all of us are shaped the same yeah but today's topic i do want to ask do you guys think she's bleached i mean her, she does look she does look very light i mean i particularly don't go out my way to skin bleach or anything it's been documented you know it's been documented that not just one type of people bleach their skin a lot of people want to be fairer for various reasons um i'm not going to get into too much of that my question is today is do you guys think that she has done that to herself and if you guys think so do you guys agree that people should be bleaching their skin mind you if you want to be fairer that's fine but my issue is with all this skin bleaching all of that there is actually toxins toxins in those creams that really is harmful for you in the long term it might work well now in the short term because you might be like oh yeah my skin oh i look nice but there is actually toxins in those that will actually make you sick you know and i don't want my people to be sick <laughs> no 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 and funny enough guys the the funny thing is there's a lot of toxins in in the creams that you know we uh, i would say we not just creams we're going to talk about just creams for now because you can now get pills and injection done and all sorts of stuff you know to lighten your, your skin tone but for the most part the most commonly used is that you go into um the store you go into the store you don't need any prescription and you just get a cream that will literally change your, your tone over time and depending on the cream there might some of them have a high potency than other but there's still a big big issue with us ladies male whatever the case may be of wanting to be fairer and actually bleaching our skin and do you know what it is sometimes i don't even think a lot of people know that they've picked up a product that's got bleaching agent in it because when i picked up product i didn't even realize there was some skin bleaching in, in you know components in that cream you know i didn't even realize it until i had to like actually someone told me that i was like oh they've actually said oh hang on a minute you look lighter and i was like really what do you mean and, but sometimes once you stop using a certain type of cream that has like toxins or whatever they're putting in it once you stop using it you find that you get blemishes or you get like dark circles or dark spots because that cream has so much toxin in it your body gets used to it and when you withdraw from it your skin starts to react it's like what you doing what you doing <laughs> you know we have to be careful and really really when we're going to these stores when they advertise these creams really be careful because there's so much of it has toxins you know in the body that lives in us that ruins our inside you know or some countries have banned products and other countries haven't so really really be careful with the creams and you know what you buy because not only 
it has it got toxins but that makes you sick you know you can it makes you depressed it gives you headache it gives you anxiety you guys skin bleach or whether you do or you don't or you know somebody who, do, who does or whatever the case may be you know I, I don't place no judgment on anybody that wants to be fairer my only thing is be careful with the products that you are using because they are very very dangerous and damaging for your skin long term read the small print at the back because that will tell you everything if you don't know what the word means at the back of it google it and then you'll find out because try and limit the amount of cream that has a high like sometimes you buy creams and you see the back of that way why has it got so many like wording at the back no you don't want something that's got like 20 wording at the back it's like it's too much to read that means it's being processed <laughs> it's too much like come on like my cream don't need to have like a hundred words at the back of it you know two simple ingredients five simple ingredients that's it yeah definitely keep to natural natural you know i mean personally i keep to natural oils jasmine oil coconut oil olive oil black seed oil i use black seed oil <laughs> mate there's so many good oils for you that are natural that really all these creams is just a yeah yeah no stay away especially if it's high high in toxicity your body does not need but let's be careful with what we buy let's be careful with what we use because a lot of the time you might be using a cream you might not even know that there's to toxins in it and then your child will see that and they'll start buying it themselves and then it just grows from one next to another and obviously being fair right it goes back to like history and all this and i'm not going to dive into that in this video all i wanted to say is does she do it or does she not do it what do you guys think let me know and is it still do you guys is it still a thing where it's a phenomenon where people are doing it or has it just become like the norm and like nobody cares anymore it's not like anything everybody just does it some and it's not just black people black females black males no fairer people people who are already light do it to become lighter so it's not it's a problem for everyone every continent has that issue but i just wanted to um yeah ask the question you know if you guys do it that's your choice enjoy being fair me i wouldn't mind being a bit darker i mean i probably say that because i do know a lot of people have have had negative experience or for being darker skin or you know i, I completely completely understand the argument and i could never take away from somebody having a, a negative experience and now they're wanting to be lighter because it's a psychological thing that's why a lot of these screens messes up with your emotions you know sometimes we be you know we, we get emotional we don't even know why but it might just mean your 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 chemical your your cream has an in chemical imbalance you know is the cream that you're putting on your skin over time will give you an in a, a negative um chemical imbalance and your emotions playing with your emotions playing with your mental so be careful the creams that you be you you're using it has a negative effect on the mind you know so you can never take away from someone that's had a an experience where they've been mistreated from from their skin or their hair and so many you know so many things that's why me now the way i live i'm like listen this is me i am fairer and i can't i'm not going to come here and start explaining my experience or my no experiences because to be fair to be honest i probably I, I would say i've had experiences of you know people talking about my hair my skin and i'm like and i know that can really impact on people um but for me personally i'm just like i don't see it i don't see you because you're not going to put me down on this earth you know you're not going to put me down on this earth you're not going to tell me nothing about my hair you're not going to tell me nothing about my skin because listen i am born this way and i cannot take my skin the, the thing is people keep and and you know the people who bleach and all of this and all of that malarkey right that's on you go and spend your money on that but guys all i wanted to say is be careful with the creams that you do buy because i do know from my personal experience i bought creams and i didn't even know that there was so much toxins in those creams i just looked at the pack and i thought oh this is nice and pretty oh this smells nice 
not realizing that it's all part of the packaging it's all part of the game you know 8.6 billion is not for nothing disclaimer disclaimer guys the figure would have changed um based on the time of research but again do your own but nonetheless i just wanted to point out the fact that it's still a billion dollar industry okay and that is not by luck guys if you have enjoyed the topic make sure you comment like share and subscribe um skin bleaching if you want to do it that's on you but be careful because there is toxins not good for you it's not good for you it's not good for me it's not good for we so with that being said guys i hope you have enjoyed today's topic so i'll see you guys in my next video and keep safe use natural product wherever you can because at the end of the day you don't want to use a product that will negatively impact you on your day-to-day -day life okay with that being said i'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys bye